In the nation's capital, a white nationalist group known as the Patriot Front descended on the National Mall over the weekend. Its members wore masks, some carried plastic shields, and according to their banner, they were marching, as they put it, to reclaim America. brought the helicopter out. There's tons of police. Thomas, why are we marching in D.C.? Our demonstrations are an exhibition of our unified capability to organize, to show our strength, not as brawlers or public nuisances, but as men capable of illustrating a message and seeking an America that more closely resembles the interests of its true people. You can see that evil justice in the hands of a tempestuous mob. There's something almost too on the nose about having a bunch of guys dressed up like they're ready to go to war, dressed up with like battle armor and shields, because in their minds, the Civil War never ended, right? Right. And what they're chanting is always so telling. Reclaim America. When was America ever taken? And when, who was it taken from and by whom? Well, they feel like it's been taken from but, white folks. But since when are brown and black people ahead, right? So <laughs> since when are, when, since when are white men still They're applying logic to their anxiety. My, yeah. my point is to say there is just, there's something so remarkable about having uh, self-avowed white nationalists, white supremacists, War, walking, marching on um, a memorial for somebody who signed the Emancipation Proclamation. I'm Ravana, and welcome back to Rebel HQ. This weekend, white nationalist organization and hate group, as designated by the ADL, Patriot Front, marched on the Lincoln Memorial in the nation's capital. Patriot Front split from a larger white nationalist organization called the Vanguard after the deadly Unite the Right rally in order to preserve its image moving forward. Patriot Front espouses racism, anti-Semitism, and other types of bigoted intolerance under the guise of preserving the ethnic and cultural origins of their European ancestors. They primarily spread their hateful propaganda through the internet, but they also distribute banners, flyers, and posters, particularly around college campuses. Patriot Front's propaganda often includes anti-Semitic phrases and imagery. It also regularly includes anti-communist and anti-Muslim imagery. This Patriot Front image includes a direct reference to the 14 words, a common white nationalist slogan that is directly tied to the concept of white genocide. D.C. locals were outraged by the Patriot Front demonstration and drove the Patriot Front members away from the Lincoln Memorial. The locals start herding the Patriot Front members towards the vans that they came in. There's a brief altercation between the locals and the white supremacists until the locals create space for them to leave. The Patriot Front members enter the van and appear to set off a smoke bomb as they're exiting, a tactic often used by the Patriot Front. The van then drives off with the cowardly white supremacists inside and the door still open. Patriot Front and other white nationalist groups like it have no legitimate grievances. There is no such thing as white genocide. America should not be a white supremacist nation. Unfortunately, these white nationalist groups feel comfortable publicly demonstrating their bigoted ideologies because the United States is a country that has white nationalist institutions. There are white nationalists in Congress. And while the Patriot Front members looked absolutely pathetic being chased back into their Penske vans, white nationalists are the largest domestic terrorist threat facing Americans. And Americans need to continue to protest and fight against these white nationalist institutions that embolden these people to act the way that they do.